Soul Blaze blazing back out with another EDO Pro deck profile. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment on any other decks or fights that you guys want to see, and burn up the subscribe button. So let's get started. Today is a fur hire deck. That's right, fur hires. To all those people who have suffered under the paws slash swords of them, congratulations. You get to have your pain recognized on this channel. I, for one, have been destroyed by fur hires many times, and now that I've finally gotten to use them, I have one thing to say. I will destroy anything that stands in my path. So anyways, let's get this started. So first up, we got three copies of Ruffel, Champion of Fur Hire. So Light Dragon, eight, level 8, 2800 attack, 12, 2200 defense. If this card is special summoned, you can excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number of monsters for a hire you control with different names, except for Raphael Champion for hire. And if you do, add one of them to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest back into your deck. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can discard one for hire, negate the activation, and um, you can only use each effect of you can only yeah you can only use each effect of Raphael once per turn. So that's really good because Raphael is basically the searcher. Fur hires, if you don't know, they focus on special summoning their monsters out by different card effects. And that's really good because you can just bring up this thing on the first turn, technically speaking, as long as you have a level 4 or lower. Because that's what all the level 4 or lowers they do. They just bring up this thing. And then you can just search your deck, which is really good. So, three copies, because it's a deck searcher. Three copies of Wiz Sage Fur Hire. So, 1600 attack, 2800 defense, level 7 spellcaster. If this card is special summon, you gain 500 life points for each fur hire monster you control with a different name, except for with Sage Fur Hire. When your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect, well, any effect actually, you can discard one fur hire, negate the activation, you can only use each effect of this card once per turn. So, pretty much, bring up this thing, bring up this thing, your opponent can't use effects at all, which is really good. So, three copies of it. And then, three copies of everyone who, fu who fights against fur hires in either Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links or just in general. Bane of Existence, or mainly you go Duel Links, Bane of Existence, Dyna, Hero Fur Hire. Level 6, 2500 attack, 1400 defense. If this card is special summoned, you can banish this, you can banish cards from your opponent's graveyard up to the number of fur hires you control with different names. That is not why people hate it. This is why people hate it. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target monsters fur hire you control for attacks, except for this card. In Duel Links, or at least for me in Duel Links, Every time I battled against fur hires, this would come out on the first turn. I never had a monster that was capable of getting over this on the first turn, which means I was just stuck there, forced to watch them beat the ever-living shit out of me. Now I finally get to do it to other people, and I have to say I frankly enjoy doing it. So three copies of this broken piece of shit. And then three copies of Sagria, Maverick for Hire. So level 5, 1200 attack, 2400 defense. If this card is special summoned, you can inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent for each fur hire monster you control with different names, except for this thing. You can only use each of you can only use effect of second down maverick fur hire once per turn. Your opponent cannot target monsters of fur hire you control with card effects except for this one. So basically, bring out these four. Your opponent can't attack your field, they can't affect destroy their field, you can't you can nullify their effects, and you can nullify their monster effects. So pretty much they're just stuck. They just have to watch you beat the shit out of them. That's pretty much all they can do. The opponent can't touch you. Yeah, pretty much good. So three copies. Three copies of the card that lets you special summon from in the first place. Bravo, fighter for hire. Level 4, 1900 attack, 200 defense. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster with fur hire from your hand, except for Bravo, fighter for hire. If a monster with fur hire on a special summon to your field while you control this monster, except during the damage step, you can have all monsters fur hire... Uh, currently on the field, gain 500 attack and defense until the end of this turn, and you can only use each effect of Bravo for Fighter for Hire once per turn. Pretty much all the Fur Hires from now on will basically be able to special summon other Fur Hires and gain abilities when other Fur Hires are special summon. In this case, this one gives you power. He is my second favorite, well technically my third favorite out of the three Fur Hires of special summon. But yeah, it's third favorite, but he's still a good card, so three copies. Three copies of my second favorite, Se Seal, Strategist for Hire. So 1600 attack, 1000 defense, level 4. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster with fur hire from your hand, except for seal strategist for hire. If a monster with fur hire is special summoned to your field, you can while you control this card, you can target one fur hire in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of seal once per turn. 
So pretty much, by the way, because it just came to me, you, if you have like this thing and this thing on the field, you can special summon more than once on the field, once per turn, because since you have multiple cards that can special summon, you can use their abilities more than once, which means you can bring out four fur hires just by having these, just by having this, this, and anything else that special summons on the field, which is really good. Anyways, back onto what I was gonna say before. You can bring out fur hires from the graveyard now. So pretty much, bring out this thing, get a fur hire onto your field. When a fur hire is special summoned by any means, by this thing's effect, by another fur hire's effect, or by your opponent's effect, you can bring out a fur hire from your graveyard. Well, not bring it out, but add it back to your hand, which is really good, because you want to constantly have those hand cards for it. So three copies. And then finally, my favorite fur hire. Beat, Bladesman for hire. Level 3, 1200 attack, 500 defense. During your main phase, you can special summon one fur hire monster from your hand, except for Beat, Bladesman for hire. If a monster fur hire is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, you can add one monster fur hire from your deck to your hand, except for Beat, Bladesman for hire. You can only use its effect of Beat once per turn. So th here's, here's the reason why I love it. One, it searches your deck. It literally is just one of the fur hire summoned. Search your deck. That's really good. And then the other reason, it's cute. Look, look at his face. Look at his face. I can't really go to it because I would, yeah, I can't really get to it because it's in the middle of the thing. But look at his beautiful face. So anyways, three copies. Three copies of Helmer, Helsman for Hire. Level 3, 0 attack, 2,000 defense. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster with Fur Hire from your hand except for Helmer. If a monster Fur Hire is special summoned to your field where you control this monster, you can discard a Fur Hire to draw a card. That's really good. Just get a free draw. It also has good defense. To be honest, I've never summoned this thing. I didn't even know this thing was in my deck. Because I've never brought it out. I've never drawn into it. So I didn't even know it was here. So three copies. Three copies of Recon Scout for Hire. Level 2, 1,000 attack and 500 defense. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one for Hire from your hand except for Recon. And if a monster you control is... If a fur fire monster is special summoned to your field where you control this monster, you can target one set card on the field blow it up. It could be your set card, it can be your opponent's set card. It's really good just to nuke their set cards. So, three copies, because you're obviously going to special summon at least once during the turn. Three copies of Doom, of Donpa, Marksman for Hire. During 500 attack, 1000 defense, so pretty much swap these stats around. And during your main phase, you can special summon one fur high for higher monster from your hand except for dopa and if a for higher monster is special summoned to your field where you control this monster you can target one face-up card on the field and nuke it so that's really good it targets any face-up card it can be their field spell it can be your cards for whatever reason it could be your opponent's spells or traps as long as they're face up or monsters it once more it could be your cards because what if like you need space for something because this thing pretty much serves its purpose after its place besides like its big beat stick actually this thing serves its purpose after its place so pretty much you want to nuke this thing and then just bring out another fur hire just to use other abilities so really good three copies three copies of philo messenger for hire level one zero attack zero defense and yep so during your main phase you can special summon another fur fire from your hand except for this card and a monster with fur hire and its card name is special summoned to your side of the field while you control this monster you can target one fur mo for hire in your graveyard special summon in defense mode but place it at the bottom of the deck if it leaves the field that's really good because it just resends it back so that means if these things ended up in your graveyard you could just bring them right back which means this big beat stick comes back this thing comes back and you just gain life points this thing comes back and you just have a wall and this thing comes back to deal your opponent damage Really good card, three copies. Three copies of everyone's favorite spell to spam that was banned a long time ago. Pot of Greed, draw two cards. It's only here just to like get fur hires back because you do need monsters in your hand to do this. So really good card just to get monsters. Pot of Avarance, target five monsters in your graveyard. Shuffle all five to the deck then draw two. Just in case, since monsters are most likely gonna end up in your graveyard pretty fast, just in case like your important stuff gets sent there, you can activate this just to get them back and draw two. Uh, Mayhem Fur Hire. So then, quick play spell target one for higher monster your graveyard. Special summon in defense mode. You can only use, you can only activate this card once per turn. Pretty much, you do it to get back one of these guys just to search or deal damage or to have a wall or just to gain life points. Maybe you might do it here, you know, just to be able to special summon more often. But honestly, who knows? It's just up to you. Or maybe you just want to kill your punt that turn. So you just go into this thing. But either way, three copies. Three copies of my favorite field spell in existence: Fendora, the Flying Fortress. Uh, during your stamp, during your draw phase, before you draw, you can give up your normal draw this turn, and if you do, you can add one fur higher monster from your deck to your hand. That's good, because technically speaking, you're still drawing. Difference is, you basically get to stack your draw for whatever monster you need. You want, you need this thing? You can get it just by skipping your draw, and technically speaking, you're still getting a draw out of it. You need this thing? Skip your draw. You need this thing? Skip your draw. This thing? Skip your draw, etc. You just get to skip your draw to get anything you want. But then there's other effect. 
If you control five or more monsters with fur hire with different names, this is very easy to do in this deck. You can send this card from the field zone to the graveyard. If you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Also, for the rest of this turn, your opponent takes no damage. But all cards. Yeah, your opponent takes no damage for the rest of the turn, but you nuke their field. You just say, uh-uh, you ain't keeping that field. Die. And everything just disappears. So three copies. Really good card. Three copies of our continuous trap. Training for hire for all your training needs. I just read that name for the first time, and now I want to kill myself. Oh, I want to blow this thing up now. I know what it does. I'm just pissed off that that name exists. So if a face-up monster with fur hire you control is destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect, you can target one of those monsters, special summon one monster with fur hire from your deck whose level is lower than or tar than that target's original level. You can only use this effect of training for hire for all your training needs once per turn. Pretty much, your monster dies by a battle or card effect, bring out a monster that's a lower level. So bring out this thing, basically bring out anything in your deck. So really good card, three copies. Three copies of Draw Agreed. Draw a card. Pretty much here just to, you know, get the monsters. Draw of Avarice. Target five cards in your graveyard, send them all back to deck and draw a card. Pretty much here to send this thing back to your deck and this thing and any other loose monsters and maybe this thing. It's just so you can draw a card, but still a good card, so three copies. Three copies of Solemn Wishes. Increase your life points by 500 and every time you draw or or at cards are added to your hand. So, yeah, you can't really use it with the field spell because you're going to be skipping your draws, but you can still use it for this and this and this. So, a really good card, three copies. Three copies of Solemn Warning. So, when a monster would be summoned or a spell or trap card would be activated or a monster effect would be activated, if this card is, is activated, that includes an effect that special summons a monster, pay 3,000 life points. They get the summoner activation if you do destroy it. So, pretty much just prevent them from doing shit, which is really good. So, three copies. Final card, three copies of Full Go Justice for Hire. So Link 3, 2400 attack, its links are pointing to an opponent's side of the field, or like basically pointing up, and then to the bottom right and the bottom left. So then three monsters with different types, this deck does that really easily, so just it's easy to just bring out three monsters, and cannot be used as Link material. If this card is Link Summon, you can special summon one monster for Hire with different type from the three monsters used for its Link Summon from your deck and defense mode. And if a card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can draw a card. Then if you control then if you control three or more monsters for hire with different names, draw two additional cards. You can only use each effect of full gold justice for hire once per turn. That's pretty good. You get to draw a card, and then if you have more for hires, you get to draw two more cards, which is really good if it dies by battle or card effect. Uh, wait, no, if your opponent's card dies by battle or card effect, that's really good. And then if you and then when it's summoned, you can just bring out three other monsters. Wait, no, you can bring out one, but that's still good, because you can bring out this thing, this thing, or this thing, or this thing. So, really good. Three copies. Well, that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment any other decks or fights you guys want to see on the channel, and don't forget to blaze up that subscribe button. And don't forget to keep your souls blazing.